come in at number three in the preseason college football poll. The fifth straight year, the Bulldogs are in the preseason AP Top 5, their longest streak in program history. Ohio State is number two, the 34th season in a row that the Buckeyes have been ranked in the preseason AP poll. That's by far the longest active streak. The last time they weren't ranked in the preseason poll was 1988. Alabama takes the number one spot with 54 of a possible 63 first place votes. It is Nick Saban's seventh time as head coach of a preseason AP number one team. Unsurprisingly, the most of any coach. And we now welcome in our college football insider, Pete Thamel. Pete, number five, Notre Dame, and number two, Ohio State, three Saturdays from now on ABC. What are your keys to that big week one matchup? Well, if you're not fired up for that, you're not living, Max. It's going to be a, a great game here on, on ESPN. And I really think the new Ohio State defense under Jim Knowles and how they respond to a new scheme is going to be is going to be the key. Ohio State's defense at times last season was a sieve, especially against the run, especially against Michigan late in the season. The Buckeyes are in the 90s in third down percentage on defense. And I feel like if there's one player to point to on that Buckeye defense, it's JT Molo. Wow. He's a sophomore defensive end. He was the number one player in the country when he arrived a year ago. His freshman season mirrored the early production of Chase Young. And I feel like JT Molowau is a name you're going to want to learn to remember and pronounce. Okay, so one team that isn't in the top 25 is LSU. Brian Kelly has a decision to make a quarterback. Who has the edge to start for the Tigers? Well, talking to some people at LSU today, it sounds like JT Daniels, the transfer from Arizona State, does have an edge. He's a very slight guy. He, he came in there around 6'3", 185. He's put on about 10 pounds of muscle. He ran for over 700 yards last year, Max, as a Sun Devil quarterback. If he's going to be able to have that type of production on the ground in the SEC from that position, he needs a little bit more bulk. But so far, what we've seen from Jaden Daniels is that he's been more accurate and better with his decision making in practice. So the first top 25 poll was released this week. Were there any surprises for you? Well, I think you would see at number 14 is interesting. They had the number 103rd ranked scoring defense last year. Please. They gave up 62-63 to UCLA. They've certainly taken enough transfers. They're going to have new starters in the teens. It's a completely different era and a completely different roster. I'm just not sold that their defense has upgraded enough that they're going to be able to be right there in the thicket of contention with Utah for that Pac-12 title. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.